Joe Curtis, Fund Manager of City of London Investment Trust. Now, strong sterling, low inflation, wage growth, low oil prices. What influence are these factors having on the trust? Well, just looking at those factors first, I mean, strong sterling. Yes, sterling has been strong against the euro, but not against the US dollar. US dollar has actually been the strongest currency. And a lot of our, or well, a significant portion of our dividend income comes in US dollars. So that's been a positive for us. In general, though, the other factors, a um, bit of a pickup on wage growth beginning to come through, certainly the low oil price, you know, are helpful for consumer income. And I think we are seeing that in, the, in this case of um, stocks performing well in our portfolio in the, some of the discretionary area for consumer spending, like the um, travel and leisure companies. And selectively, it's quite positive for retailers as well. Now, the City of London was the highest issuing investment trust in both 2013 and 2014, at 92 million and 105 million respectively. So, where have you invested this new money and does it affect the yield? Uh, well, the yield is a very helpful guide, we find, to share price valuation. And, you know, it's, ultimately it's a share price valuation that determines your ultimate returns. So, um, we, we find dividend yield helpful, but you need a combination of dividend yield and growth. But sort of one sector we've uh, certainly invested in over the last couple of years has been the house builds, and that's um, serving us well both in terms of um, share price appreciation and also very attractive dividends as these companies meet the need for the UK for more houses. Optically, some investors may view City as quite similar to the index. Do you agree with this? Well, that's only optically. I mean, we're in the large cap end of the market. So obviously, our top 10 is familiar to investors, which might not be true of a small cap fund. But actually, it's a very different portfolio. And that is really evidenced by the outperformance against the index. We've significantly outperformed the index. And we also provide a much better yield than the index. So I think the evidence shows we're quite different. OK, finally, Joe. But I have to ask, we've got an election coming up in May. So as an investment manager, how do you approach what is likely market volatility? Well, I mean, obviously politics do, do play a role and is a particularly uncertain situation because we may get a situation where no two parties can form a majority. But having said that, the last um, general election was also a, a hung parliament and um, you know we got, we got through that. And I think the key thing to remember is that around 70% of UK stock market um, re revenues are from overseas. So actually our listed companies in the stock market are you know, predominantly overseas in terms of their trading interests. I mean, uh, the other 30% is UK, but you know, life goes on. I know politics will have an influence and it is to some extent, you know, the market, stock market always looks forward and it does discount um, what's going on in, in politics and you know, what they think the likely outcome is, is going to be. So. Obviously, I will keep a careful eye on what's, what's going on, but um, I, I don't think one should be sort of overly panicked by it. Okay, Joe Curtis, thank you.